Hey, it's Dr. B here with another Toolkit Tuesday. I'm on a walk and I don't have my book to show you, but Toolkit Tuesday is where I share a tool from my latest book, Unflappable, How Smart People Quit Overthinking, Ditch the Drama, and Thrive at Work. So today I have a special tool that has to do with this time of year. Why? Because this time of year is abundant with graduations, with weddings, with all, you know, spring sports where we're coming into contact with different people under some stressful circumstances. And at work, you know, you're now in the second quarter and you're heading into the summer. And there's also an election going on and a lot of international things that are causing a lot of drama and strife between people. So this tool is going to help you. And if you haven't already picked up a copy, head on over to Amazon, pick up your copy or to my website, drbridgetcooper.com and get a copy of this because honestly, this toolkit has like 70 tools and so many of them I'm gonna be talking about kind of in, in circulation with this tool. So this tool is called Appreciating the Worst in Others. Well. <laughs> Okay, Dr. B, take another hit off the peace pipe, right? So appreciating the worst in others, it means that instead of getting into these conversations and, and debates and you know, one, you know, one upping with people that we're in conflict with, it helps us to distance ourselves from that chemical reaction that happens in our brain when we're in some sort of a disagreement or fight. So when we drop into gratitude, the studies prove that gratitude cannot coexist with fear. And fear, oh, I'm not fearful. Well, a lot of our anger and frustration comes from fear. Fear that someone's gonna take something from us, that someone's gonna you know, hurt our careers or damage our families or our reputations or you know, get in the way of something, some endeavor that we're trying to accomplish. So when we drop into gratitude, we turn that around from a neuro perspective. So, what does this look like? Three-step process. First is detach. And for those of you who have any sort of meditation or yoga practice, you are gonna be way ahead of the game on this one because detach means to detach emotionally from what people are hitting you with, like all the emotional nonsense, all the disrespect, all of that. Like you become an observer in the moment. Now, again, I have so many tools on this in Unflappable, but you need to detach. Detach from what's happening in that moment that is triggering you off and setting you into this cascade of, of real ugly emotions and trying to control the situation. So you detach, that's number one. Number two is you acknowledge. You acknowledge that what this person is doing is having a certain effect on you, whether it's making you frustrated or it's making you angry or that they're having, you know, they're, they're getting in the way of this. You just acknowledge like These are the facts. This is what I'm seeing. These are, these are the, the problems that are, I'm facing. But the third step is the most important step. And that is actually dropping into gratitude. So you drop into gratitude by saying, I am grateful because kind of like the Joker is necessary for there to be Batman. This person is necessary for you to elevate yourself, to become a better leader, to become a better human, a better family member, a better listener, whatever it is, be calmer, be more direct, be something that you are going to benefit from. So without this person's challenge, without this person's disrespect or whatever it is that they're bringing to you, you would not have the opportunity, the invitation to elevate your skills and become a better person. So you drop into gratitude. So that's it, the three-step process to appreciating the worst in others. If you need more customized help one-on-one, uh, -on -one, I do private coaching and executive coaching. If you know a leader who would need some of this assistance, please reach out to me and let me know. And pick up a copy, again, of Unflappable. It's on Amazon and on my website. If you're looking for a workshop so you can work on this as a team to kind of help some of the conflict and stressors that are coming up and will be abundant this, this election season, let me know. I would love to help you out. And with that, go be unflappable. Bye.